Hey everybody, what's up? It's Agent Nemitz, and welcome today to, um, kind of a new series. Well, yeah, we'll go with new series that I'm starting on my channel, and it's gonna be, like, a tutorial series, kinda. So there'll be a new, um, series, or a new playlist in the, um, in my channel area for kind of tutorials that I'm gonna be doing throughout however many of these I do um, but as you can see right now we are in the uh, building with Agent Nemitz creative world here and uh, I was just flying around you know because I have I do I do quite a few builds in here before I actually bring up bring them in the world um, and you can kind of see what I've laid out here uh, as you remember though this building was holding our chickens. It was our chicken shack, whatever, and we ended up tearing it down in the world. But it has an amazing invention on the inside. It's a very loud invention. Oh yeah, but there's not many in there. And it's the automatic chicken uh, farm thingy. Yeah, automatic chicken farm. You get cooked chicken and feathers from it. At a constant rate, as long as it's loaded, it's working, pretty much. So, today we're going to do a tutorial on how to build this automatic chicken farm here. It's, uh, it's three by three, and then one, two, three, four, five, five and a half blocks tall, basically. You don't need this access stuff here. Uh, I mean, you do initially. But we're going to hop into a different creative world, my redstone world, quote on quote on quote, redstone world, and I'm going to show you how to build this amazing invention. So let's hop on over there. Alright guys, so we're in my redstone brand new blank world here, and uh, just real quick, here's the chest of items that you will need for this build, so uh, you can use, uh, use a chest, you need a chest for sure, at least one, maybe two to make a double chest. Uh, blocks of your choice. So I'm just going to use stone brick. Oh, not stone brick, monster egg. We want normal brick. Normal stone brick. Here we go. Yeah, that's what we want. We don't want this garbage. Alright, yeah, so uh, any block of your choice and any slab of your choice. Um, a trap door, cauldron, a glass. It could be any color glass, your choice. Carpet, any color carpet again. Bucket of lava. Two rails, a dispenser, it's important that you get a dispenser, not a dropper. Six hoppers, a lever, a redstone comparator, redstone, or two redstone torches, three redstone dusts, a piston, which isn't going to be part of the build, it's just going to be to push something in place, two minecart with hoppers, and then uh, if you're just doing this in survival world, you'll need eggs. Uh, we'll get to that later. So, uh, let's get to the build, guys. Let's get to the redstone contraption itself. Alright guys, so the first few layers of this are actually pretty simple in and of itself. I'm just grabbing everything that we're going to use real quick. Um, and this, and this, and this. And I think that's it for now. Um, anyways, so how you start setting this up, we're going to go a little ways from there. And uh, so you put it, put a chest, right? Put a chest. We put uh, blocks on either side of it, going like this. And then you put a, oh, I didn't grab the hoppers. Whoops, you need the hoppers. Give the hoppers. Don't do chest anymore. So then you chuck the hopper right there. Was that the hopper? No, that's the cauldron. Gosh. There we go. So let me make it day real quick. And you set day. Perfect. All right. So that's the first initial step. You leave this back part open for red stoning that we're going to put in later. Uh, then you put the dispenser right here, and you put uh, a block there and a block there. And now what we do from here, and I'm trying to go through this quick so that way you guys can see what we do. Um, we put a block here, um, and we put the rail with a minecart with hopper. And then you go up, up, and over, and then rail, and minecart with hopper. So now you see why we need those things. And then what you do from here is break, break, and break. And then those are combined now. There's two in that one, and you just can't tell right now. All right, then you break and break. You see it go they both are down there now. It's 
so what you need to do from here is you need to put um, the cauldron. Yes, the cauldron. The cauldron right here. And you need to put this here. here. And you need to power it. And you need to grab your scrims. So you need to power it, obviously. Hello? 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 Power? Um. What? There we go. Okay. Power the piston. And that pushes the. Gosh, I don't know redstone mechanics very well, guys. So now you can destroy these blocks. And that puts that right there. And then, real quick, you want to put your glass. Put your glass in front of that. And now that's all boxed in, as you can see here. So that's actually where your chickens are going to sit, is right there uh, in the cauldron. When they get dispensed, they'll go and sit in here, and uh, you know they'll be babies because their eggs are going to hatch. Well, eggs are going to be in here, and they're going to be shot out into here. And you know you don't get a hundred percent chance rate on uh, eggs, but um, the, they'll grow up. Well, they'll be babies, and then they'll grow up. And when they grow up, because of the level they're on, they will get burned in lava, which is what we're going to do uh, right now. So then you put uh, all that right there, and let's just uh, grab these out of here for now, and we actually we don't even need these anymore. We don't need any of this garbage here. All done with that. Isn't that nice? None of this too. Uh, now I'm not in survival mode um, at the moment. At the momo. So, yeah, I'm not in survival mode right now, so you can't see, uh, like, what blocks I'm using specifically, because the number doesn't go down, but this is a dispenser, it's just different in my texture pack. Alright guys, so now comes the next part, you're gonna set up the killing chamber, which I know sounds terrible, but you, you do what you gotta do to get yourself some cooked chicken and feathers. Alright, so you put the lava bucket in right there, right? And then you take your hoppers and you make a hopper line, which we do like put it pointing into the dispenser. And then uh, here, here, put another one and another one. And then uh, from there, pretty sure you go like this and this. Very fine, right? Very fine. It looks good. And then uh, you put a comparator actually going into this one. So let me get my comparator. You get a comparator and Wrong way. Put it um, where it's detecting this, and you put a block right there, so it powers that block. And what happens is when eggs are in here uh, from the chickens laying the eggs, it goes through the system or whatever, and uh, they'll all be filled up. And once uh, there's enough in here, it'll send out a redstone signal, which we need to set up the rest over here by putting uh, a dust here and a dust here here and then a redstone there and a redstone there. There you go. And now the redstone is pretty much done on this one guys. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, it's basically once this has enough eggs in it, it'll send a signal going to here which will inverse all this and then shoot eggs out of here until the redstone gets unpowered. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So now we just fill out the rest of the design, and it's pretty simple. Actually, you just um, take your block of choice, and you go around the rim or the edge, kind of, like this. Uh, then you take your slab of choice and put it around the top as well. And uh, you put that there, and you need your carpet to go uh, on top of this hopper right there. It's perfect. And um, then uh, you fill the rest right there with your uh, block of choice and you put a lever right here so you can shut off your system uh, whenever. You just flip this lever and it locks the hopper so no more eggs travel through the system in case you want to grab eggs out or do whatever you wanted to do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much a completed system. So now what you do from here, guys, uh, you put the carpet there, so that way the sneaky little guys don't get out. Um, and then if you're playing in survival doing this, 
Uh, of course, you'll build a way up here or whatever. You take your eggs and you're gonna chuck them in here, you know, until you get a... There we go. Ooh. Oh, oh, he died. Okay. Uh, let's do it on this, actually. Yeah, that's right where you want to throw it. You want to hold shift and throw it on the trapdoor until you get chickens. See? Oh! Got two. For the first one. Oh. Come on, you sneaky guy. And, yeah, you can push them in there. But then, uh, they'll grow up, you know, and they'll start laying eggs, which... I'll just spawn a couple of the chickens in there. So there you go. And, you know, there's the cramming rule, so you'll only be able to have... I don't know how many of these, like 20 some in there. Then you can just close this. They'll start laying edge, edge, eggs eventually. Uh, and those will flow through the system. So just imagine eggs are flowing through right now. They're actually, they actually are. They're going in here. It just helps speed it up. Take eggs out of there. Perfect. And that one will fill up. Speed that one up too. This one will fill up, and vice versa, you know, you, you get what I'm going for, yeah. yeah. Man, this tutorial is ridiculous. I, I'm, I'm derpy, guys, this is my first tutorial ever, so don't get frustrated. There we go. Finally getting demonstrated on what it can do. So, you heard um, it go off, and that's because it powered it. You know, um, the eggs are being shot through the system right now, right? Yeah, it should be, actually. Hey. All right, so then just, there you go. You heard it go off, right? I hope so. And then more go in there, right? Yeah, so you, you see how it works kind of, right guys? So let's just say a few eggs are dropped in, you know? The thing here senses it, powers, goes through, turns this on, shoots eggs into here, which will eventually get babies. And you can hear them in there right now because the minecart's moving, if you be quiet for a sec. You hear the minecart moving. Then once they grow up and get old, they will, um, you know, burn, and then you get feathers, you get their drops from them, which are feathers and cooked chicken. So this is a fantastic uh, way to set up an easy, I don't know, what would you call it, an easy food system in Minecraft, in Minecraft. and if you needed uh, feathers for any god knows why reason, written books and uh, arrows, I guess, you know, you can get them from this system as well. And yeah, so that's pretty much it guys. That's the end of this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was a quick one. It's your standard three by three by one, two, three, four, five and a half. Three by three by five and a half automatic chicken farm tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more videos like this, do let me know down in the comments and by leaving a like on this video. It lets me know that you like these type of videos and you poop. And that you want to see more of them. Uh, this is new for me, so I apologize for being a little derpy on how to um, do this sort of thing. Redstone's not my situation. It's not my thing. But um, I did figure this kind of stuff out. It's not too hard. I mean, I watched a tutorial, but still, the tutorial explains stuff pretty easily. And uh, I figured, you know, it's in my world. So I'll let you, uh, I'll share the magic with you guys. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you, again, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like, let me know that you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new or if you want more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.